And honestly, looking back now, the thing that has helped me the most as a caregiver with someone with mast cell activation syndrome was my willingness to let go of my preconceived notions and beliefs about health. Hi, I'm Monique Gloria of Dragonfly Soul Healing. In today's video, we're going to look at some foundation-shaking ideas that helped me let go of what I thought I knew in order to support my daughter in healing from histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome. First, we have to look at the approach of Western medicine as a whole. Marianne Williamson famously said during the debates, we don't have a healthcare system in the United States. We have a sickness care system in the United States. Regardless of where you stand on her in general, it's a very accurate description of where things are currently. Conventional healthcare in the United States can also be referred to as allopathic medicine that simply refers to a system which medical doctors and other healthcare professionals, such as nurses, pharmacists, and therapists, treat symptoms and diseases using drugs, radiation, or surgery. They are literally trained to match pharmaceutical drugs to a condition. This is so ingrained in us at a foundational level that letting go of that idea is hard. We think that we need to find one medicine to treat our disease or issue, and really, stepping back and seeing the big picture takes a lot of deprogramming. I know this firsthand because when my daughter was sick, I prayed hard that we would just figure out what it was so that we could treat it. I said many times, not knowing is just the worst of it. And it was at first when her pediatrician and allergist completely missed the major signs that could have given us some more insight, but the more that I've learned about histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome, the more I've come to terms with this. No one pill or supplement is going to fix everything. If you take anything out of today's video, I hope it's that point alone. If you find yourself or a loved one in dealing with either condition, think of it less as a mission to find that miracle pill or vitamin and more as a message. The body is letting you know that things are out of balance in many ways. It's asking you to look holistically at all of the issues to get to the root cause to make the needed adjustments to heal the body. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's say you found yourself or a loved one with headaches, hives, digestive issues, intense rashes, or a number of other symptoms you've managed to connect the dots to and have found either histamine intolerance or mast cell activation syndrome. You're excited that you now know what you're dealing with, and so you start ordering all the supplements to help your body. One example might be DAO, which is an enzyme that helps your body process histamine. You see everyone in the online groups talking about how it helped them. However, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference for you and you still have plenty of issues on your end. That's because it's not a magic pill and it's only one small part of the equation. The other people might have just got lucky that that was what they needed. The root cause of histamine in the body could actually be that there's an infection that needs attention. Or perhaps you're far too stressed out and you need a tool or methodology to stop the stress loop from happening. And this is because your body makes histamine as a byproduct of both your immune and stress responses. See how complicated it can get? It truly takes an integrative approach in getting to the root cause and bringing the body back to balance or homeostasis. The sooner that you stop the search for the magic pill and work to heal your root causes, the sooner that you'll be on the path to healing. If you've gotten to the point where you're on board with that idea, but you're curious about where to get started, first of all, you're in the right place by listening to this exact video. I'm happy to be a partner in that, but I know that I certainly don't have all the answers. Therefore, I highly recommend gaining knowledge through a few sources that have been very helpful and insightful for me. First is to read the book, Dirty Genes by Dr. Ben Lynch. It's an easy to understand book that looks into the complicated inner workings of how our genetic blueprint can put us behind others. However, it's also an empowering book in that he explains that we're not victims of our genes and we have the power to reset or clean, as he calls it, uh, the genes that have become dirty or when things have gone awry. He focuses on diet and lifestyle. It's a really great place to start. 
He does talk about the importance of low stress, but I do think he stops a bit short of really connecting some important dots there. And that's something I'm working on bringing to light, so stay tuned for more details around that. The other resource that I highly recommend is mastcell360.com by Beth O'Hara. She has a lot of really great information about mast cell issues, root causes, and even has a course on supplements, among other things. If you want to empower yourself, this is a great resource, and it's one that a lot of holistic practitioners turn to themselves. If you do go the route of supplements to help stabilize things along with your diet, be sure to think of this as shifting to neutral so that you can then work to find the root causes. Supplements are not the solution or cure. You're not trying to stop the symptoms. You're trying to get to the root cause. And honestly, looking back now, the thing that has helped me the most as a caregiver with someone with mast cell activation syndrome was my willingness to let go of my preconceived notions and beliefs about health. When I opened up my mindset to more holistic and integrative approaches, along with gaining knowledge for myself, things really turned around for my daughter and honestly, our whole family. It is said that wellness is the act of practicing healthy habits on a daily basis to attain better physical and mental health outcomes so that instead of surviving, you're thriving. Maybe what you're going through now is just to call your attention to the ways that you've been surviving with bad habits and coping mechanisms. And maybe if just enough of us learn this lesson, we can demand better, not only for ourselves, but for all future generations by what we allow in our food and water. But hey, that's another rant for another day. If you're curious to learn more about the root causes of mast cell activation syndrome that Beth has uncovered in her years of experience in order to see what might resonate with you as a possible root cause to work on healing next, then you don't want to miss this video.